Hey everybody, it's Nicola here and welcome to the final part of Disney's Aladdin. I am somewhat nervous. I am, well, I was gonna say I was winning at the bonus game, but I guess not, Jafar got me right at the end there. All right, distracted by Iago, Aladdin recovers to find the lamp is missing. So this is after he has his big argument with Abu and Carpet and Jasmine and all of that. Man, look how evil, <laughs> look how evil that face is. All right, so now everything is under Jafar's control. And now we enter Jafar's palace. Final level in the game. My goodness. See how many times I die. <laughs> I know I should be fine until I get to the final boss, but this is a pretty challenging level. Also, the design of this is amazing. It's just the Sultan's palace, but in Jafar's color scheme. Lots of fire, his snake staff is in the background. Like, so many cool things. It's really awesome. Also, I seem to have almost maxed out my gems, which is kind of crazy. Since I've never done that before, it's odd that now may potentially be the time that I finally do it. So yeah, we still have like the Sultan's little glass animals as well, that's just hilarious. Alright, so I find it's better to stick to the top paths, also there tends to be stuff hidden behind the pillars, so I'll always sort of like jump up to see if there is anything there. So we have these ball and chains back from the Sultan's dungeon level. Different colour, but they, they seem quite fitting for Jafar's place. Alright, let's grab some life, although I don't think we actually need it. I'm not sure that I've taken a hit yet. Now that I say that, there you go! <laughs> Every time! Here, eat an apple. <laughs> Alright, we have 98 gems, which is pretty crazy. Just restock on the little bit of life that we lost there. Dude! Oh yeah, and Iago is absolutely everywhere in this level. Probably, I mean, the Sultan's, the actual Sultan's palace, he was there quite a lot, but oh my god! No! Oh, that was the worst time for me to die. I don't think I've ever died in this level aside from the boss fight. So for me actually dying there, that was pretty horrific. Oh well, let's just pick ourselves back up and grab every single apple we see because they are seriously like the most important thing. We need apples. We need apples like so bad. The final boss takes like 30 hits, so that's 30 apples, but that's even if you actually manage to hit him at all. So you want to be going in there with at least 50. I think the final boss, the number of hits he can take depends on your difficulty level. I might try and count them, but I think it's, I think it's around 30 hits. Now, I did just use an apple there and I probably could have avoided it, so I'm going to try my very best to avoid using apples on the regular enemies and save them all. Oh man, I almost did the exact same thing again, can you believe that? <laughs> it's not even like a hard jump or anything. Man, I guess I'm just nervous because I'm recording and stuff. Alright. Checkpoint, which is cool, and we can jump on the carpet. There is your shop. There is your last chance to buy things. You can just jump off the carpet at any time, but you probably do want to swing your sword because there's lots of enemies and stuff here that you can crash into while you're on the carpet. So yeah, bye bye carpet. It's the last we'll be seeing of you until the credits, I guess. We have more of these statues in the purple color. Jafar is all about the orange and the purple and the gold and the snake. Ugh, so creepy. Okay, grab some more health. Get rid of Iago because he's super annoying. And climb down this rope here. This music is so good. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of this big guy and I'm gonna head up here. There's some health. It's somewhat difficult to get up here, but it's not too bad. If you think you can avoid the hits from those guys, then it's most definitely worth it. And at this point, we're actually almost at the checkpoint that you will get to before the final boss. So we want to be... Oh, look, I got 99 gems. <laughs> How about that? I think they might be rubies more specifically than just calling them gems, but oh man, this is hard. 
just blow that up. I think these guys got like one hit. I don't think I can quite reach him, but I don't want to use my apples or anything. Oh, come on. Take yourself out. There we go. Okay, let's check behind these pillars, see if we've got anything extra. We only have 25, 27 apples. Alright, well I guess this is it. We're going for the final boss. 28 apples, I'm probably going to have to pick up some more in the boss fight, which is going to be a little bit of a pain. But the less damage you can take here, the better. Because unfortunately, if you crash into all those Iagos, you're like half of your HP is down. Alright, so we're fighting Jafar. I will try and jump over him so you can see. There he is. Now, he tries to sort of pull you in with his staff. So if he's doing that, just trying to run into the corner and pull against it because it's really powerful. So you just want to hit him with apples. As many times as you can. I think that's four, five, six. Oh, it's so hard to pull away from that magic. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, he almost got me there. Ten. All right. Or maybe that was ten. And then he turns into the snake. What also happens is the, the floor catches fire like it's hot coals, so you can't stand still on the platforms. And you have to jump this fire and throw apples. Three, four, and repeat. And this goes, it feels like this fight goes on for an eternity, just because you have to really focus on jumping this fire because it's a really precise, ugh. Oh, it's a really precise hex box. I'm changing over to the other side. I'm gonna have to pick up some apples soon. So when you run out of apples, you need to run across the top so you don't get burned. Jump over him, and then there'll be four apples for you on the other side. And then you have to repeat. I'm kind of glad that I died and didn't have apples so I could show that. Man, he was so scary as that snake. My god. He must be almost done though. Yeah, there he is! We did it! I don't even know if I took like... I took like one hit from the fire, but... Wow, that was a really good run of the final boss, holy crap. And there it is! Credits! Oh, so beautiful. Now kiss for the entire duration of the credits. These are pretty long credits as well. The end. Oh, that's lovely. Wow, well I guess that's the game over. I kind of feel like the past hour or so has just been me like trying to say all the things I wanted to say about the game really, really fast. So I apologise if I've been kind of bumbling a little bit, but there's just so many good things I wanted to say about this game and I hope I managed to say most of them. Whew, that's kind of tiring. Like that final boss fight, you have to like really really focus and he takes a lot of hits on the difficult levels so I'm actually really happy with myself that I didn't die there. Although I did somehow die in the actual level itself, which I, I honestly I don't think I've ever done that before. Whew, but overall I figured that was a decent enough playthrough aside from my, my my brain stopping working in the escape. Like I just couldn't jump like properly. I, <laughs> I literally stood up, took a breath, sat back down and then I played fine. So I don't really know what happened there but anyways, this game is awesome. I hope you agree. I hope that this has perhaps inspired you to play it. Or maybe go watch Aladdin again. I did watch the film before recording this, so I was all hyped up and stuff. Such a good film. Like, just so phenomenal. And, like I said at the very start, video game... Video games that are of films these days are really, generally bad. Like, terrible, but... This, honestly, I thought captured it really well. So, yeah. Like I said, long credits, especially for an older game. Like, a lot of people worked on this, I guess, and they have all the Disney people as well, so... Yeah, lots of people contributed. Even the music has to loop, which it's gonna do right about now. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I could talk about... There's another thing I want to do, and that's maybe show off the cheat menu. But I'm going to do that in a separate recording because I just want to check this is all recorded fine. So you'll see slightly future me in just a moment to go over that. Because there is like a sort of cheat mode and there's a couple of codes you can put in. So I'm going to show them as well. But as for now, 
Um, I guess I can talk about what I'm going to be doing next now that I've finished Aladdin. And that's going to be jumping back into Phantom Hourglass until it's finished. That's the plan anyway. Because obviously I have Dragon Quest IX to do, but I feel like I'd want to focus on that solely and I don't want to do both at the same time because they're both quite time consuming. So I'm going to go for Phantom Hourglass because I think I'm just about ready now to get back into it. And we'll play that until it's finally done and then I'll jump back into Dragon Quest and maybe do another small game in between to sort of, you know, calm down a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, I gotta fly. Alright, well I'll pass you on to future me, who will go through the cheat menus and stuff, but yeah, see you in just a second. Okay, back on the title screen, let me just head into the options menu and I will show you the cheats that you can put in for this game. First off, starting with, if you go into the options and we press A, C, A, C, A, C, A, C, B, 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 yeah. got it right, we get taken to this which is kind of like, I guess, the developer's menu and it has a bunch of words on it, <laughs> but the important thing down at the bottom here is we have some cheat stuff. Also, as it says at the top, I am playing the 50Hz version. I meant to say that at the start of the playthrough and I was going to ask if anyone noticed any difference. But as far as I can tell, um, the 50Hz and the 60Hz version, the only difference is the music. I think the gameplay is the same speed, but the music in the 50Hz version is slower. If you don't know the differences between in older games, 50Hz and 60Hz, do look it up because I only learned about it fairly recently and it's really interesting. Especially like games like Sonic the Hedgehog. The gameplay and the music is slowed down in 50 hertz versions and it's just insane to see, for me, like seeing 60 hertz, I'm just like, why is it so fast? But anyways, go look it up if you're interested to know more. But in terms of this game, I think it is only the music that's affected by the 50 hertz version. But yeah, anyways, down at the bottom here we have cheat mode, which I think is pretty much just invincibility. We have start on level where we can pick the level that we want to go to if you want to quick jump to one of them. Freeze ability, I haven't got this to work. I've tried to look it up online and apparently if you pause the game it's sort of, it's supposed to like freeze the stage so you can just run through it. But it hasn't worked for me for whatever reason so unfortunately I can't show that off. And view map mode is really cool. Basically it just lets you look at the entire stage in sort of free view mode. So I'm going to do that on Jafar's palace. I'm going to press start here and skip over all this stuff. So because I'm in map view mode um, you can literally just use like the d-pad to move around the level and look around and it's actually really really cool. And you can go right down here and see Jafar and here he is properly since I didn't really get a good chance to show him off in the boss fight because I was too scared to get anywhere near him. But let me see if I can get this to work. Sometimes his sprite goes really buggy and it goes kind of purple. Yeah, there it is. And that always really confused me as a kid because when it happened, like I thought that the game, it was like another form. <laughs> like I didn't realize that it was just the sprites being weird, but if you want to see a purple Jafar, there's a purple Jafar. <laughs> Um, the other, the only other cheat really that I want to show off was, you can do this in any level, you don't have to go into the cheat screen to do this, but it's a level skip basically. So you pause the game and you press A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, and you'll hear that noise and that means you can just skip the level and go on to the next one. The thing about cheat mode is that it treats the level you jump into as if it's the first one, so whenever you finish it you'll always go on to the desert, which is the second level, which is why I'm in the desert now. But again, just press A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, if you want to skip a level. So yeah, that's really all I could find in terms of cheats. And I knew about the ABBA ABBA one when I was younger, but I never knew you could go into like the, the massive cheat menu. <laughs> so that was quite interesting for me doing research on it for this, this video series. So let me just reset this real quick. So like I was saying, in terms of what I'm doing next, the plan was to go back into Phantom Hourglass. However, at the moment, this is going to sound really stupid, but I've actually misplaced my notes for it. In the move, either I've put them somewhere different or I've perhaps left them behind, but hopefully it'll just take me a little bit to find them. 
because I would like to get back into that and finish it as soon as possible. So, failing that, I'm gonna start Dragon Quest, and I think that's the plan at the minute is to maybe do like a week's worth of Dragon Quest videos and then see where we are with Phantom Hourglass, because I don't really know where my stuff is. So, I'll, I'll update you if anything drastic happens, like I can't find them or anything, I'll probably say on my Twitter, but the plan is hopefully Phantom Hourglass, otherwise I'll be just moving on to Dragon Quest again because I have everything I need for that. So hopefully there won't be many more delays, but there's not an awful lot I can do about it aside from look for my stuff and then I can get back into recording it. So once again, just check my Twitter and I will try and update you as often as possible on what's going on. Aside from that, I really hope you enjoyed watching this series and thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you with either Phantom Hourglass or Dragon Quest 9.